guys, it's The Walking Zero Zoo Dead here, king of the anime and manga boxes, lover of all things geeky here on YouTube. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a first impressions of the first Vizbig of Vagabond, and then I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the second Vizbig of Vagabond, and I'm going to show you like all the artwork. So yeah, if you don't know Vagabond, arguably one of the greatest seinen mangas of all time, and you could argue the greatest samurai series of all time. It's done by Inoue, so you know it's going to have some beautiful artwork, a real great storyline, and some real interesting characters. So hopefully you enjoy, guys. So let's open up this Vagabono greatness. Yes, once again, brought to us by the Book Depository. They're awesome on Amazon. Unless you, uh, I always buy either straight from Amazon or Book Depository, man. You know, you've got to do it if you want cheap anime and manga. Whoa. She don't want to open her. Oh, there she is, the greatness. There's a receipt. Here's a lovely goat bookmark. <laughs> but here it is. Vagabond, the Vizbig, Volume 2. Look at that. I always found that, you know, the art covers, which I've seen on uh, like Amazon, to be really weird. Because they're, they're in so many multiple different colours. And I don't know if that kind of like suits like Samurai Feudal Japan. Like bright oranges and whatnot. But look at that. Such a cool front cover. Yo. And on the back. Even the back artwork is just amazing. But let's check it out, guys. The beautiful artwork from Vagabond. Look at that stuff. Amazing. And that's not even... I wouldn't even say that was good Vagabond artwork either. That's like average Vagabond artwork. But look at that. Look how amazing it is. It's beautiful. It is beautiful artwork. In a way... You gotta argue this guy's the best drawer in all of manga. He's got a shoe in. He has got a shoe in for being the best. Look at it. Look at the detail on that. Jesus, it's great. So I'm basically just gonna skip through some of the artwork. Ah, it's not great that. Not too great. But yeah, look at that. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for the art. Oh, some colour pages. Jesus, I keep getting distracted by the great artwork. But look at that in colour. That is gorgeous. That's absolutely gorgeous. Yo. But yeah. I mean I could go I could oh wait a minute, we have oh there's oh there's so much beautiful panels I want to show you guys. Like that was that looks incredible. But I think I'm going to end it off with this this beauty of a double colour page. I could go through this whole Vizbig and show you the amazing artwork, but I'm not going to. But look at that. You cannot argue Vizbig and Vagabond are not greatness. Vizbig smell. They're amazing. Just saying. Vagabond is a journey you know, of the, of the real-life legendary samurai Miyamoto Miyasashi and it focuses on his life and you know, the hardships and the challenges that he faces to become the greatest samurai of all time and become like, basically un invincible and undefeatable. And there's also like a second and a third uh, pro like, main protagonist in the series and the other one sort of like mirrors uh, Miyamoto Miyasashi's sort of like goals. But what like, I really like about this series is it feels so raw, but it feels also like real. It feels like this is what could have generally happened. Obviously, it doesn't truly follow you know, Miyamoto Miyasashi's true like you know historical life. It adds a little bit of fantasy, a little bit you know, a little bit of spice, a little bit of herbs and flavour there here and there. But it does generally follow it quite accurately in a sense, if you get what I mean. They change it to make it a manga, but you can see bits, you know, when he's a wildling in the forest with the two swords. You know, if you know anything about Miyamoto Miyasashi's, like, real life, you know there are some actual genuine real things here and there, actual put into the manga, but they've changed them up a little bit, which I really like. I think that's such a charming little thing. Uh, another thing that I really enjoyed about this is the themes. You know, there's a lot of, like, questioning oneself, um, like, simple values and teachings. There's a lot of philosophy, and... I honestly thought that was a beautiful touch, especially to a Miyamoto Miyasashi storyline. You know, adding a lot of like philosophy and questioning oneself. Because if you know anything about Miyamoto, he basically wrote the Book of Five Rings, which is this legendary uh, book on philosophy, which is still used today by Japanese businessmen. You know, it teaches you a lot of like inner stuff. And I was like, wow, that's that is such a great touch to this series, and that just made it so much better. Um, 
honestly, the artwork. Oh, fucking stellar, stellar artwork. It is beautiful. I believe Inoue draws this with a brush. And um, you can kind of tell with, like, the colour panels because they look, like, watercoloured. And it just looks, oh, the detail um, and, like, the battles. It just looks beautiful. You honestly... And this is a tough one if you go Berserk or Vagabond's artwork, or maybe even like Sunken Rock, because Jesus Christ, it is fucking good. It's such good artwork. It's one of, you know, it's artwork you've got to see with your own eyes and read it. You know, beautiful, beautiful artwork. Can't give that artwork enough attention. But yeah, so far, really great storyline. It's really like gripping and it's got me in there. Some interesting characters. The artwork, not going to talk about the artwork anymore, but you know, <laughs> but anyway, yo, yo. In the comment section down below, guys, I want to know who's your favourite character in Vagabond, what are your overall thoughts, and where do you think that Vagabond stands with, you know, the greatest of great, like, seinen mangas of all time? I've got to say it's got to be, it's got to be top three, man. It's got to be top three, top two. You, ah, oh, it's so good. It's so good so far, and, you know, I've only read volume one, and I'm a little bit through volume two already. I read a bit while I was doing the video, if I'm quite <laughs> honest with you. But, yeah, really enjoying it. So cool. It's one of those series that you think, man, I've put it off for such a long time, and now that I've got into it, it's so great. And that I was like that with Hunter x Hunter. You know, I stalled with it for years, and then, then when I read it and watched it, I was like, shit, why did I, why did I waste so much time not reading this stuff? But, yeah, if you enjoyed it, give it the old thumbs up. Please subscribe and may the sun never set on the British Anime Empire.